but coach, we heard a really big round of applause. We heard some cheers. We've been out here all morning in St. Joseph's, Missouri. However, Chiefs practice has now officially begun. That's what the cheers were for. Chiefs kingdom is very excited, and we see right there our guy, number 15, Patrick Mahomes, back on the football field. Now, this is just the second day that the Kansas City Chiefs will be wearing pads here in St. Joe. Uh, we know Andy Reid likes to run a very tough training camp. You know him personally. We'll, we'll get to talk to him in a little bit and ask him about that. Uh, but what's the energy headed into the season around the Kansas City Chiefs, Coach? You know, every camp is different. Every expectation is different. This is the team to beat. They won it. They've been to the Super Bowl three out of the last four years. So they know how to win. They've got a lot of good players returning, especially that guy right there, Patrick Mahomes. He's the man, and he's surrounded by a, a, a good coaching staff and a good roster. But th this team, th they, they're businesslike. They're not cocky. They're, they start over. It, it, and this training camp is, uh, has nothing to do with last year. It's, it's start over from the fundamentals, install your basics, and get a, get a good foundation in. You're teaching some new players, but the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, this this is the way, this is the, the organization that a lot of teams right now want to emulate because, and it, and it starts with a heck of a head coach, a Hall of Fame head coach, and a, and a Hall of Fame poten uh, eventual Hall of Fame quarterback. Um, it, it's exciting. I can't wait to talk to these guys a little bit later. And then that opening game against Detroit Lions, no. that's going to be a barometer for Detroit because we'll see how much they've come, right? Because uh, this team feels and thinks it can win every single game. It's hard to do, but uh, they're going to have a heck of a record. They won 14 games last season, and uh, they should have another great season this year. You know, Coach, one thing that I, I want to mention off the top, right? I'm a Kansas City girl from Kansas City, love this team, and, and I've always had, you know, a hope for this organization. But at training camp last year, the conversation was a little bit different around the Kansas City Chiefs. Everyone knew that Patrick Mahomes was great, but the big question mark was what is Patrick Mahomes going to look like without Tyreek Hill yeah. right we saw what they look like they went off to win a Super Bowl Super Bowl 57 down in Phoenix Arizona but it's interesting how this year's conversation is now are they the new dynasty team of the NFL it goes to show that you know while the Kansas City Chiefs have always been highly favored across this league last year there are a lot more question marks this year the Chiefs really haven't made a huge splash on the offensive side in terms of additions but now there's an the expectation that they're going to go out and do it yet again. Is that all really from Patrick Mahomes and head I'm coach gonna, Andy Reid? I'm going to ask uh, Patrick about that when he comes because they have been playing musical chairs with wide receivers right. and they continue to be the best passing offense in the league. Now a lot of that is that guy named Kelsey, okay? Yeah. He's pretty darn good. He's pretty good. But in terms of the wide receivers, my goodness, you, you mentioned Tyreek Hill but now Juju Smith-Schuster's gone and Cole Hardman's gone and Demarcus Robinson's gone and Pringles. Gone. I mean, you know, so they've been replenishing these guys with Marcus Velda, Scantley, and Kadarius Tony and Sky Moore and, uh, and others, uh, Rache Rice. I mean, they've got some new guys, and I'm going to ask how he keeps a rhythm with all these new right. wide receivers all the time. They got two new offensive tackles. Your bodyguards on offense are your tackles, while Orlando Brown and Andrew Wiley are gone. And so, you know, they've, they've got to find a way to to uh, get some continuity with some new guys, and they've signed a couple. Their, Brett Veach does a heck of a job with personnel. In Veach we trust. In Veach we trust. Last year when I came in here. You weren't here. James Palmer was here. And he, we ate pizza the night before. He was Come giving on. me the scoop. Yeah. And Eric Stone Street. All right. But this year, I got you. Okay. That's even better. It's even better. Yeah. <laughs> Coach, we are here all afternoon. We have so much more to come here from St. Joseph, Missouri.